When cooking and eating, I always want to really try and find myself the best ingredients possible. After all, a dish is only as good as the ingredients, which is why Discover the Origin is such a great concept. It ensures a wonderful provenance of ingredients. And here are my two wonderful ingredients, Parmigiano Reggiano and delicious Parma ham. This beef tartare with Parma ham and Parmigiano Reggiano will go very well with a good wine. But to know what that good wine should be, I'm going to ask Christina. Christina. Hi there, everyone. How are you? I'm, I'm good, I'm good. I've got beef, I've got capers, walnut oil, this fantastic ham and parmesan. So what would you suggest? I'm thinking red for this one. I think, uh, you know, that old age-old rule of red meat with red wine usually tends to stand. There's one style in particular, though, I think, which, uh, which would be perfect with this dish. And what would that be? I can't let you know okay, now. Fine. I shall reveal Spoil all sport. after you cook, so I'll just let you get cooking. I'll go away and taste some wines. Okay, you better go then. I will. Okay. <laughs> the first thing I need is a piece of beef fillet. It's very, very tender and giving cut and soft, so this is really what you want to use. Cut it into nice long bits. Banana shallot, small as you can. About a quarter of a shallot in there. Little baby capers, I've got about a heap teaspoon in there, and that can go in whole. They're so small that they don't need chopping. Some good deep dried chilli, some black pepper, walnut oil, quite a good dash, some lemon juice, and then I'm going to add some salt. Okay, so now I'm going to bring that over here and give it a mix. I'm just going to line a, a ramekin with a little of the ham, then take the beef and press it in, then fold everything in nice and neatly. Now I'm going to get a plate. Turn this little chappy out now. In another bowl, I've got some delicious lamb's lettuce, a tiny bit of salt, a little bit of olive oil, and a little twist of lemon juice. A mix. And take a few of these little lamb's lettuce heads. And then, last but by no means least, the Parmigiano Reggiano. I want some nice long curling slices. So there you have it beef tartare wrapped in a little parma ham with some parmigiano reggiano on top a little lamb's lettuce salad around the outside. It's simple, it's very tasty and very easy to do. Haha, -ha, the big reveal, that looks absolutely beautiful. The Good. only thing that I think would make it more beautiful is a perfectly matched wine. What have you brought with I've you? I've thought long and hard, I've tasted many, many wines and I have come up with, I think, the perfect match. That's very delicious indeed, and delicious in its own right. So what I'm very interested to see is if, if it's going to kind of stand up with this raw beef dish. Well, we have talked about it long enough. I think we should dig in. What I was hoping that there would be enough acidity and tannins to live up to all of those beefy, meaty flavors in there, the saltiness of the ham, the rich creaminess of the Parmigiano Reggiano, but also that it would just be nice and fruity and easy to drink with all of those complex flavors. Well, everything you've said is right. You've gone out there, you find a great wine, which does go very well with the beef and the ham and the cheese. And eating this and drinking the wine, it's kind of, I feel like I'm on holiday sitting in a shaded Portuguese square and I feel very happy. Sounds beautiful. Thank right you. Now. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs>